Now, if you're anything like us, you would be hesitant to buy a Model X with those big falcon wing doors unless you knew for sure that those doors could open inside your garage. So I'll tell you what we did. Before we bought our Model X, Tesla very kindly offered to send somebody out to our house with a demo car, take our whole family around for a test drive, and then perform what they call a garage fitting. And that's where they drive it very slowly, very carefully into your garage. You can see, even with all our junk around, they were able to fit it in, check to make sure there was room around the front, there was room in the back to open up the tailgate. And then finally, they tested those falcon wing doors to make sure they could open underneath our garage door. And they could, not all the way, but certainly enough for people to get in and out. But I'll tell you what we've learned in the time since our test drive three years ago, and that is to back our Model X into our garage. That allows us to get those falcon wing doors past the garage door and, more critically, past the garage door opener. I measured my garage today and I found that I have nine feet behind my garage door opener. The ceiling above the car is eight feet high and to the sides of our car, we've got plenty of room on the driver's side and 20 to 21 inches on the passenger side. Now I did call Tesla today to make sure that they still will perform these garage fittings and they will, but of course that does depend on availability of a demo model. So if you can't arrange a garage fitting from Tesla, I think you can feel pretty confident with eight feet above, 24 inches to the sides, and nine feet behind your garage door opener. If you found this video helpful, then click that like button. If you've got a question, leave me a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss anything going forward.